Welcome to the Innovative Classroom Podcast, where we explore the cutting edge of education through the lens of self-determination theory. I'm Brad Flickinger, a middle school technology teacher passionate about empowering students to take control of their learning journey. In each episode, we'll dive into practical strategies, inspiring stories, and expert insights to help you transform your classroom into a hub of creativity, autonomy, and student success. Let's innovate together. But before we discuss innovative solutions, we must first consider some of the harsh realities of teaching today. This episode is entitled The Obsolescence of Knowledge-Based Education. In an era where information is omnipresent and accessible at the swipe of a finger, the traditional model of knowledge-based education has become an obsolete relic, a vestige of a bygone era ill-suited for the demands of the modern world. The once revered halls of learning have devolved into stagnant repositories of outdated hardware, software, and curricula, leaving educators scrambling to maintain relevance in the face of rapidly evolving technological landscapes. The disconnect between the educational experience and the realities of the digital age is palpable, manifesting in the perpetual refrain echoed by disenchanted students. When will I ever use this? This clarion call, a damning indictment of the perceived value of the curriculum, resonates through classrooms worldwide, underscoring the redundancy of memorizing information readily available at the tap of a few keys. Educators entrenched in the dogma of knowledge dissemination find themselves out of sync with the technological zeitgeist clinging to lesson plans and pedagogical approaches that have long since outlived their usefulness. The chalkboards and overhead projectors of yesteryear have given way to interactive whiteboards and multimedia presentations, but the fundamental paradigm remains unchanged, a one-way transmission of information from teacher to student, a relic of an era where knowledge was a scarce commodity. In this digital age, the role of the educator has become obsolete reduced to that of a glorified Google search regurgitating information that students can readily access themselves with a few keystrokes. The once hallowed halls of learning have been reduced to mere repositories of trivia, repositories of esoteric facts and figures that hold little relevance in a world where information is fluid, ever-changing and accessible instantaneously. The chasm between the educational experience and the demands of the modern world grows wider with each passing day. Armed with a wealth of theoretical knowledge but needing more practical skills and adaptability to thrive in the digital age, graduates find themselves ill-prepared for the workforce. The rapid pace of technological evolution renders the knowledge imparted in classrooms obsolete before the ink has dried on diplomas, leaving graduates stranded in a sea of irrelevance. Uh, The writing is on the wall. The era of knowledge-based education is drawing to a close, and the educational establishment stands at a crossroads. Clinging to the outdated paradigms of the past is a death knell, a surefire path to irrelevance in a world that demands agility, adaptability, and a constant thirst for lifelong learning. The choice is clear evolve or become extinct, a cautionary tale of the perils of stagnation in the face of relentless progress. Again, I apologize for the negative tone of today's podcast, but there is no innovation without first looking at the problems. Thank you for tuning in to the Innovative Classroom Podcast. I'm Brad Flickinger, and I hope that together we can innovate and improve your teaching practice. If you enjoyed today's episode, please subscribe, leave a review, and share it with fellow educators. Remember, together, we can create classrooms where students thrive. Until next time, keep innovating.